All right, so if you clicked on this video, you're interested in my opinions and uh, thoughts on the Navrich chest rig for all your magazine carrying uh, capabilities. Okay, so um, this isn't exactly the only thing that gets uh, shipped to you. You also get the shoulder straps to it and um, obviously the side straps and a small panel that goes on the back that's got like a mushy pad on it in case you're running it solo. However, I'm going to explain it for the reasons that I purchased it and how I'm setting it up. And you might notice the uh, chest rig on this side. Um, the F90 from KWA is um, not just for viewing purposes. We're going to explain the kinds of mags this thing can take and all the inserts and the prices and my thoughts. So uh, let's get into it. Well, first, um, you know, we'll, we'll keep it on the table for now. First off, um, the build quality, obviously, without all of its other accessories that come with it, they're built the same, same manufacturer, same factory, I would assume. So it all kind of goes as a standard. The chest rig itself seems pretty uh, high quality. All of the molly seems like it's attached on there really well. You can give it some serious uh, tugging and there's not too much extra play. The cool part is it's got a lot of extra molly locations, such as on the sides. And um, one thing that I really like about that is if for some reason you decide you want to throw uh, pistol mags on the side because you're loading the entire thing up with your AR or DMR style magazines, or maybe you want to throw a speed loader on the side or um, your radio, you name it. You can throw a fucking dildo on the side if you want, I don't care. Uh, it's got a nice little panel for all of your uh, Velcro patches. I don't understand why you would want to use any other items for Molly on the front. Maybe like, you know, a pair of utility scissors or a flashlight or something. You might have that on your rifle, but I don't understand it because when you do stack this guy too thick of different rifle magazines, it pops out quite a ways. Maybe it's different when you set it up on the um, regular chest rig straps as opposed to when you set it up on the uh, plate carrier, but... Like I said, it it's definitely sticks out quite a way, and it might get in the way, uh, unless you're using, like, a um, handgun as your primary. So, um, next, the inserts. So, it comes with a handful of inserts, or at least you could purchase a handful of inserts. The first one uh, is the pistol magazine insert. The second one is your AR magazine insert. And the third one is your DMR style insert. So the difference, the DMR style inserts, not only are they a little bit larger, however, you'll notice with the AR style inserts, it has this extra strap. These ones don't, see the difference? The DMR style ones also don't. The reason being is naturally like much like a, um, AK style magazine and your regular AUG or F90 or uh, M4 style mag, the AKs are much longer. What this allows them to do is retain enough height on the mags so the strap stays tight and they don't sink too far into the plate carrier. It sits about here. So you have a little bit of wiggle room in play. If these guys sat lower, which is fine, you could do that. It's just they're much harder to grip and these straps would be a little bit loose. The DMR style pouches, like I said, they're a little thicker. They allow these guys to seat much, much lower. Doo, doo, doo. Come on, stupid fingers, do something correct. Cool. Obviously, it's a little easier to get in there when it's strapped on yourself or take out when it's strapped on yourself. But you'll notice these sit all the way at the bottom. Now, like I said, you can fit two layers of these magazines inside of here, which is great because if you want to, you can run a total of six mags in your pouch. If you want to put more on your belt, you can. I like to keep one in the chamber also, obviously, which thus allows me seven mags on the field. And for a guy who's playing most of the time, like 15, 20 minute games, that's more than enough time. 
Um, where are we going next from here? Oh, like I said, there's a uh, separator in here also. And each one of these lines in the front and back. So what's cool is if you want to run two different types of rifle magazines or um, your primary and your secondary, you can do so. You can put your primary in the back, secondary up front. You can put your primary in the front, secondary in the back, whatever. Um, the one problem that I've had, the DMR and AR style mag pouches fit perfectly. However, the SMG and pistol style pouches, let's just say they don't. They're a little bit too long for some reason. I haven't been able to get them to sit the way that I want them to. Maybe these are supposed to wrap a little bit, these ends. But the problem I was getting is I'd get this guy in there and one of these kind of gets stuck and folds and you have to... I don't know why it's so long. You'll also notice there's... Obviously they're thinner, but there's five pouches here. These guys only have three. Another problem that I'm having. For Glock extended mags, these probably work just fine. For short mags, these don't work. You'd probably need some sort of a uh, little Velcro strap on the bottom, I'm sure you can add. But without that, <coughs> sorry, I'm still sick. With no bottom, the Glock mags sit way too far down and they're just barely crowning at the top. However, for your PP2000 mags, I'll just put it in here so you get the idea. They do fit inside of this strap or inside of this holster, but even when fully seated into the mag or into the mag pouch, you can't get the strap over it. So this is just a prime example of an overly sized mag because these uh, PP2000 mags are much larger than your standard Glock extended mags. Glock extended mags probably sit about here. So just keep that in mind. Now, again, I know this mag pouch specifically was designed for one of the um, SMG style uh, primary rifles that Novrish makes. So no shame on them for that, but uh, I'm gonna reach out to one of their um, supports uh, emails and ask them why it seems like it's just too long. Maybe I'm an idiot. I am an idiot, but you know, anyways. Uh, just an FYI, each one of these costs I think nine bucks. So if you're running both inserts, think 18, if you want a different setup, obviously costs more. The magazine pouch or the carrier, the plate magazine carrier itself, I want to say is about 50, 60 bucks. I don't remember. Maybe it was like in the high 40s. And then there's an extra attachment which allows you to place it on your plate carrier. So we'll get the F90 out of the way, even though it's absolutely gorgeous. Can't wait to use that this summer. Maybe I'll do a review on that later on. We'll get these AK mags out. One, two, and bring the chest rig over. So the way I want to run this is on the chest rig. I enjoy running a chest rig. I think it's fun. You also have a small backpack on the back, which is nice. Um, I like the rigidness of this guy and uh, the fact that I can also get some of the other attachments on the back. Uh, you can run a fanny pack on this because you just put it down on the back. And then you throw the, uh, like I said, that mushy pad that comes with it on the back on top. I just like the plate carrier. Um, I like how many extra little things I could throw on it. This is my little peepee -pee knife. Me, 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 little peepee. -pee. Fucking peepee. -pee. Anyways, so in order to get this guy onto the plate carrier, you then also have to purchase, I think it's eight or nine bucks also, this Velcro strap. You see how strong that Velcro is? Um, cheers to them for that. The Velcro seems to be very rigid and strong. You have to purchase this guy. So first thing you do is you place your fanny pack on, if you're running one of those guys. You then take your Velcro plate, which just allows you to have more Velcro room for a more sturdy attachment. You're going to dislocate all of the little clips 
that come onto the side attachments and the clips that come onto the uh, shoulder um, attachment. So you can uh, lock it up onto the chest rig here. It's nice because if uh, you're crazy and you want to purchase more than one of these, you can do quick changes on the field. So you can just throw your DMR setup on in a couple seconds if you're not special, like so. Or you can run a uh, SMG style pouch. Like I said, it's pretty rigid. It sits pretty strong. It doesn't seem loose anywhere. You do have these little guys hanging off, but I really don't think that's a problem. You won't notice it. Yeah. The one reason that I uh, choose to go with Novert's company here, and the reason I run this as a primary, as opposed to using a different company or a regular standard airsoft company or military company, great stuff. Um, their pricing isn't bad, but I also really like the fact that all of this stuff is designed to work together. You know that what you're getting is going to work with one another. In the descriptions of their products, it always says if it's going to work or if it's not going to work or what it works with. You can always reach out to them and they always answer. Even their Instagram page responded to me when I asked if uh, which pouches work best with AK mags because I just picked up a GHK AK and they told me the DMR style ones work. Surprise, surprise. It turns out that uh, they're coming out with an AEG AK, even though I don't give a crap about plugging in guns. So I just run gas anyways because I'm fucking preppy like that. But like I said, everything's always going to work with each other. So I tend to just run their stuff. And again, it's not that expensive. It's a little more expensive than your standard Airsoft stuff or your Amazon stuff. And I'm not saying it's better. It's just um, it's around the same price, if not much cheaper than standard military equipment. And I think it's going to last much longer. I've had the plate carrier itself for about a year and a half now. And uh, no problems. And I put some decent abuse into it. And I like the rigidness of it. And um, it's just a nice little pack. I'm definitely going to set up uh, two little pistol pouches on the side. So for my um, handgun, I run the... Um, SSX, uh, or not the SSX, idiot, um, SSP-18, and then I'm either going to run my GHK-AK uh, or this uh, beauty, the KWA F90, or as I, uh, I'm going to call it for now, until uh, it either proves me wrong and doesn't work, or it continues, the uh, better GHK AUG, and if that made you pissed off, well, too bad. Yeah, I guess uh, thanks for watching. Um, grab one at your own risk. And for now, stay stupid.